Welcome to Lab Tutor. I'm logging in now. This is where I have to put my username. And then this is where I have to put in my uh, user password. And then I'm going to log into the platform in order to perform the experiment. I'm selecting Introduction to Lab Tutor. This is the introduction panel. Shows me advancements made to Lab Tutor and more importantly, the advanced uh, learning objectives. This is the data acquisition center or panel shows me how data is converted from mechanical to analog to digital data and then displayed. This is the signal conditioner and signal transducers shows me the list of the various components that can be attached to perform experiment. This is a lab tutor itself. The top is the front, bottom is the back. This is the experimental layout, shows me how the experiment needs to be performed and also where to go for helpful tips. And this is uh, the procedure, shows me how the experiment is performed and which components to use. This is where uh, the data is uh, recorded. So we'll have to press uh, start over here and recorded over 20 seconds and after 20 seconds uh, we'll have to press stop again at the top right corner and over here close to the bottom here uh, in the last parag in the last sentence of this paragraph there's an option to press it gives an example of how the graph should look like if it looks like this then it's correct Now we are here, we are at the scrolling panel, so we are learning how to use the scroll. We can scroll backwards, forwards. Scrolling gives you an option to be able to look at your data. And then we have, um, how to, we have got the different scaling here. We'll start up with um, horizontal scaling. Over here I've increased the scale, I'm decreasing the scale. And then there's also already preformed uh, scales over here that we could use. For example, these are the preformed scales. So you could select any of them and then you'll get in uh, different shapes. Like you can increase it, decrease it. And then we'll be going on to vertical scaling now so I'm decreasing the scale over here and this is a set default scale outer scale set default scale again And now we're going into annotations. This enables us to be able to mark certain points on the graph with uh, certain keynotes. So we will um, press start over here, and then I'll write something, in the comment, and I'll add it onto the graph. And you can also use markers. By just selecting add, it automatically marks it. And you can add another marker and then it will count down uh, in ascending order. So now you can go back to these markers and edit them. So you can fill in information on the markers, whatever information you want to write there. Uh, the reason for using markers is that some people are not fast typers. So instead of writing out the whole thing in the beginning, you just mark it with a, with a number and then you can fill in the information later. Now we're going to use the data analysis. Uh, basically what we're doing here is we're going to collect the the peaks, the, like the readings from the peaks, and then we're going to add it into the graph in order to perform calculations. So basically what you need to do is you have to place the marker. You can place it. You don't have to place it exactly on top of the peak, but you can place it above the peak. 
and then it, it will give you the reading of the height of the peak. Okay, now we have filled in, we almost filled in the whole table. And after filling in the whole table, we'll move on to the next part of the experiment. And now we're going to use the marker. The marker is located here in the bottom left corner. And you can place the marker on top of any peak or anywhere on the graph. And then you can calculate the difference in height and the difference in time. So whatever point you select will be uh, the calculations will be or the uh, data given will be in reference to the marker point. So here we are calculating the delta. Uh, delta according to time and delta according to pulse. The next part of the experiment is to run three graphs at uh, once and this gives us the pulse, the interval and then the pulse rate. It's very important to make sure your information is on the right scale so that you can observe uh, readings from all three graphs. It might be necessary to make some adjustments onto the graphs in order to obtain better readings. This is where we're going to delete the data. You need to select the area by highlighting it. And then you need to select the deleting part and confirm deletion. It's very important to be able to delete data as you can remove any errors made during the experiment. This is where we write the report and you have to fill in the information here. It um, Basically you have to answer the questions that are asked and after filling in all the answers to the questions, you're then required to submit the report. This enables you to complete your reports much faster as you do not have to follow the normal procedure in writing a, a report it's more straightforward and more student friendly and time friendly Okay, you then, uh, after this, you can confirm that you filled in everything by scrolling down and checking that all the gaps are filled in. And then you can, after checking, you're then required to submit uh, your report. And submission is done by clicking the submit button. And then you have to confirm just to make sure you didn't accidentally click it. Because after submitting, you cannot make any alterations to the report. And then after this, you can, uh, you can then log out because you have completed the experiment.